Okay, in this video we're going to start talking about uh, integration by parts. So uh, in this video what we're just going to do is uh, explain where the formula comes from uh, and then in the next video we'll talk about how to use this formula um, and we'll do that with an example uh, and then after that we'll talk about some more stuff uh, with integration by parts and do some more examples. Okay, so the integration by parts basically uh, is a formula that, that lets you integrate products of functions. So if you want to integrate something like uh, x times e to the x dx, um, then integration by parts lets you do that. Okay, so just like uh, if you wanted to take a derivative of x e to the x, so let's say if you wanted to take a derivative of this, um, then there's the product rule, right? So this is uh, not the same thing as derivative of the first times derivative of the second. Right. Uh, remember, there's that special product rule you have to use. So don't do don't do it like this. Well, uh, likewise, if you want to integrate a product, it's not going to be the same thing as integral of the first times integral of the second. Okay. So if you want to integrate a product, don't split it up like that. Just like if you want to differentiate a product, don't split it up like that. Okay. So if you want to differentiate a product, use the product rule. If you want to integrate a product, uh, then integration by parts is probably going to be the way to go. Um, there might be other techniques that work, like uh, substitution which we talked about, um, some other techniques that we'll talk about later. But anyway, integration by parts lets you integrate products. Um, but it's also used to uh, integrate other types of functions, like uh, if you want to integrate the natural log of x dx, uh, you can actually use integration by parts for that. Or if you want to integrate some of the inverse trig functions, uh, it'll work for that also. But we'll talk about those later. But anyway, let's see where this formula comes from. So uh, you might guess that maybe it's kind of related to uh, the product rule for derivatives, and it, it sort of is, it's sort of where that comes from. So let's go ahead and start with that. So let's say if we have uh, u of x times v of x, okay? So we have two functions, u and v, being multiplied together, and we want to take a derivative. Okay, so we'll just write it shorthand like this. So remember that prime notation means derivative, so we'll say uh, we want to take a derivative of this product. Well, remember what the product rule says, that's uh, u primed of x times v of x plus u of x times v prime of x. Okay, in other words, uh, the derivative of a product is the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Okay? If you have uh, the derivative of two things being multiplied. Okay? So um, now let's go ahead and integrate both sides. So I'm going to switch colors here because the green is starting to run out. So if we integrate both sides, And we've got to have that dx on there. Okay, we're in, so our variable is x, so we're integrating with respect to x. So we're just going to integrate both sides with respect to x here. So u prime of x, v of x, plus uh, u of x, v prime of x. Okay. And then have got to have these brackets because this uh, dx here is on everything. Okay. So we're integrating both sides completely. Okay, now uh, if we integrate um, a derivative like this, what's going to happen? Well, the, the integral and the derivative, remember, they're like inverse operations, right? So they cancel each other out. So what we have is a u of x, v of x. Okay, that's all that's left. Equals. Now, you might be thinking, hey, isn't there supposed to be a plus c? And uh, yeah, there is. But there's also going to be a plus c from this integral over here. So we'll just do it uh, once later. Okay? Well, it's actually going to be kind of absorbed into the formula here. So that's why we're not going to write it. Okay, but anyway, we'll um, worry more about that later. So now let's go ahead and uh, split this integral up into two. So this is going to be the integral of u prime of x v of x dx plus the integral of uh, u of x <coughs> v prime of x dx. Okay, so again, we didn't write a plus c over here because these two integrals both have plus c's anyway, so there's no point in uh, writing it multiple times. Uh, so anyway, now what we want to do is use uh, shorthand notation. So, well, before that, uh, I'm going to rewrite this. So let's say u of x, v of x. Um, so rewriting that. Now what I want to do is switch these two around. So we're just multiplying two things together, so let's switch them around. Why am I doing that? Uh, no real super important reason. It's just going to make the next step a little, a little more clear. Okay, now we're going to do, uh, when I said shorthand notation, what I really meant was uh, differential notation. So let's, uh, whoops, so u of x, uh, v of x. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. Now, remember uh, differentials from calculus one? So if you have a function uh, f of x, okay, any function f of x, it has a derivative f prime of x, right? Um, if the derivative exists and all that stuff. 
Um, so there's a concept of a derivative, but there's also a concept of a differential. So remember the differential is df equals f prime of x dx. Okay? So there's a, a difference between the derivative and the differential. Okay? So there's subtle differences there, um, which we'll be talking about in a separate Calculus 1 video. But anyway, if you have a function f of x, there's the concept of a derivative and a differential. So the derivative is just f prime, the differential is df equals f prime of x dx. Well, likewise, if we have a function u of x, then there's the derivative u prime and the differential du equals u prime of x dx. Okay. Uh, and the same thing if we have a v of x, okay, if we have a function v of x, then there's a uh, derivative v primed, okay, so we'll come over here and write that. So if we have a function v of x, then there's a derivative v prime of x and a differential dv equals v prime of x dx. Okay, so that's just differential stuff from calculus one. Okay, so let's, um, let's rewrite these uh, integrals here. Okay, we're gonna rewrite this equation in terms of differentials. So first we're just gonna, let's also drop the uh, uh, x in parentheses. So this is just gonna be uv. Okay, so we'll just write this as uv. Actually, let's, let's do it like this. So this will just be uh, uv equals. Now, how do differentials come into play here? Well, here's u prime of x dx. So this is actually du, right? This is du. Uh, this is gonna be v, okay, just v. This right here is just gonna be u. And v prime of x dx, remember, that's our differential dv. Okay, so remember, uh, we have a function v of x, then there's a derivative v prime of x, and differential dv equals v prime of x dx. Okay, so here's v prime of x dx, so that's just dv. Okay, so that's all that's going on there. So we're just basically rewriting this in terms of uh, differentials. So now this is the integral of v uh, du, okay, v du plus the integral of u dv. Okay, well, hey, notice this. This actually almost looks quite a bit like this, right? So all we have to do now is uh, subtract this integral from both sides. Okay, so if we subtract this integral from both sides, then what we end up with is uh, this integral by itself on one side. Okay, so let's actually, let's keep the uh, same side. So let's subtract this integral from both sides. Then we have uv minus the integral of v du equals the integral of u dv. Okay. So if we subtract the integral of, uh, of v du from both sides, then we end up with, on the left-hand side, uv minus the integral of v du, and then on the right-hand side, we just have the integral of u dv left. Okay. So uh, notice this is exactly the same thing as this, just with the side switched around. Okay. So that's where the integration by parts formula comes from. So integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Okay. So if you start with the product rule, um, differentiate both sides, uh, rewrite in terms of differentials, and then just subtract this integral from both sides, uh, then you get the integration by parts formula. Okay, so that's where that comes from. And again, we didn't do a plus c here uh, when we integrated this. It is indefinite, so there is a plus c, but there's also a plus c sort of uh, in, in this one here. Okay, so that's why we don't bother writing it, because we're just going to have a plus c from here anyway. So just some subtle details there. So that's where the integration by parts formula comes from. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to use it uh, and also go through an example.